What is up you guys? Come here and bring you guys once again another video. Welcome to today's video. And in today's video, I know I promised you guys that Madden 20 came out five days, no, six, seven, I don't, I don't know anymore. But Madden 20 came out a while ago. I played it a little bit. I said I was going to upload. Um, I still know what I'm going to do with all the subscriber team. But Madden 20 is finally about to be on my channel. And if you guys can't already tell by the team on, that I'm currently on, that is the team I'm going to start Madden 20 off with for the channel. Um, it's gonna be the. It's just gonna be like a franchise series, I guess. But of course, it's gonna be on Los Angeles Chargers. That's my NFL team. So yeah. So basically, it's just gonna be franchise. Nothing much. It's gonna be like if I was the actual like owner of the team. And yes, I'm gonna do owner mode so I can do like renovate the stadium because obviously we need a new stadium. But yeah. Anyway, let's get right into it. Just options. Use the tiles on the left. Papi Pachinko. Papi Pachinko in the building. Alrighty, let's get right into it. Let's review the team real quick. So, obviously, at quarterback, we have a couple guys on the team. So, at number one quarterback, he's going to be our starter for pretty much until he retires. we got Phillip Rivers. He's 94 overall. He is 37 years old, which is a problem. But that is not a problem because we brought in Tyrod Taylor, who's a 71 overall. I love Tyrod Taylor. He's, a, he's not a bad quarterback at all. He doesn't turn over the ball. The man's fast. He got 88 speed. Uh, yes, please. I'll take that any day of the week, especially if you pull like a Philly special move. He's definitely getting the ball. And then we got rookie Easton Stick. He's a 62 overall. He has 85 speed. And by the time I'm recording this, I had already watched the very first preseason game of the Chargers. Easton Stick looks pretty good, except for he did throw a wide open interception to that was thrown right to him. But regardless, he's not looking too bad. And then under him, we have my main despise, and you guys have heard me say this anytime I've done a Chargers video, uh, Cardale Jones. Um, yeah, he's probably not going to be on the team, if I'm being honest. But who knows? A lot of things can change. Our quarterbacks can get injured, and we'll have to throw them in anyway, so who knows? At running back, of course, we got Melvin Gordon. Unfortunately, even th this is a game, so he is going to be playing for us, but in real life, he's holding out. But because it's a game, he is currently playing. Under him, we have Austin Eckler, who's an 81 overall. Not too bad, 24 years old. Who knows what I'll do with him? I'm probably going to keep him, but if not, he may get traded. But who knows? As I said, it's a game. I'm a Chargers fan, and if I do something, that means I want the team to do it in real life. Um, under him, we got Justin Jackson, who's 23, and he's a 73 overall. He's going to get some snaps for sure. Um, usually, I like to carry three running backs on the team, but I'm going to carry four this year, and the four are kind of already locked in because we got Detrez Newsome right under. Neath Justin Jackson's and he's 25 and 63 um he's probably gonna be our fourth running back who knows maybe I'll get Tremaine Pope on the practice squad world may never know but yeah at fullback of course we got Derek Watt the second Watt brother to make it to the NFL um he's 26 and 70 out of 70 overall every single franchise that I've done off camera with the Chargers so far he makes the Pro Bowl every single year so that's my main goal is to get him to the Pro Bowl because why not? At wide receiver, we got a couple guys. Let's just say that we got a couple guys. At number one, of course, we got Keenan Allen. He's 90 overall, and he's 27 years old. Um, he's going to start regressing right as soon as he hits, like, 29, which I hope by that time I have him up at, like, a 96, 95. But if I don't get him up to that area, we got Mike Williams right underneath, who's 24 at an 81 overall. I will gladly take that any day of the week. I'm hoping I could get Mike Williams up to like an 88 by the end of the season. Hopefully I could get him to the Pro Bowl. My goal is to get both Keenan Allen and Mike Williams to the Pro Bowl by this year. And underneath them, we got Travis Benjamin, who's 29. I'm not sure what I'm going to do with Travis Benjamin yet. He's our fastest receiver, and I think he's the only receiver on the team right now. Yeah, he's the only he's the only receiver on the team right now who has over 90 speed. Everybody else has 89 and below. So, who knows? Maybe I'll keep him. Maybe I'll trade him for a younger receiver, but a, a guy who's semi-fast. Um, but, yeah. Under him, we got Jeremy Davis, who is currently our fourth wide receiver. Um, if I do decide to trade Travis Benjamin, and maybe I'll trade him for Travis Benjamin for, like, a draft pick, Jeremy Davis will be the third receiver. But... That was before I heard that we had picked up Malachi Dupree in free agency because we had released um, Dylan Cantrell and somebody else, and I can't remember the name. But we had released two players, 
And we signed Malachi Dupree, and I was like, okay, I actually like this pick a lot. He was really good at LSU, and I liked what I saw when he was at LSU. Um, right under him, we have Andre Patton, another guy who could make a start. We have I have, a, we have a lot of receivers on the Chargers that can get that third receiver spot if, like, any of our guys get hurt. But it's going to be kind of a three-way battle between Jeremy Davis, Malachi Dupree, Andre Patton. Sorry, maybe even a... No, it's pretty much just going to be a five-way battle because we have our Tavis Scott and Justice Liggins. And it's it's going to be very hard for me to decide who I want to keep on the team because I think I can I think I could only move two of these guys to the practice squad, and I usually like to carry five receivers, maybe a sixth guy for special teams. But who knows? At tight end, we have a lot of guys. Now, in my in my head, I already have the three tight ends that I definitely 100% want to keep on the team. Um, so obviously, Hunter Henry's our number one tight end. He's staying here forever. I don't care how much I have to pay him. He's staying here forever. Virgil Green is 31 years old. He might get the boot. Maybe he'll stay. I'm not 100% sure. We don't have Antonio Gates anymore, so not 100% sure. But we'll see when it gets into the normal season. Right under him, we have Vince Mayo. Um, I've, I'm going to be honest. I've never really heard of him. His speed looks nice. Uh, his catching, really nice. But I haven't really heard of him, but who knows? Maybe if he kills him preseason, he'll be the starter. Not the starter, but, like, he'll get to stay. Um, Sean Culkin is a guy that I want to keep on the team, um, even though he's only a 67 overall. Personally, I'd pro I'm probably going to have him as a starter, maybe after, like, next season, because I'm probably, if I keep Virgil Green th this season, he's probably going to be gone next season. But Sean Culkin's 100% stand on the team. Under him, we have three different guys, well, technically two. Next one we have, we have Daniel Helm. Haven't really heard too much of him. He's a rookie, so we'll probably put him on the practice squad if I think he is pretty good. He has 77 speed, though, which I like my tight ends to be a little bit faster because I'm like, yeah, I like throwing to the tight end quite a bit, especially on those double move routes. I love those. Under him, we have Andrew Volert. Saw him in the preseason yesterday. He looked fairly good, so he's another guy that I might throw on the practice squad. And then right underneath both of them, we have Mike Wint. He's our long snapper. So... Long snappers in this game are kind of weird because they're labeled under tight end, but usually I do cut him, but I don't know what I'm going to do. We'll see. At left tackle, we have Russell Okung, who currently is out with injury. He might miss up to six weeks, I believe it said. And if that is the case, then we will have to, we'll have to move somebody over to left tackle. And usually when I do the charges, he does get injured, so we'll have to work on that. At left guard, we have Dan Feeney. He's a 66 overall. Dan Feeney is going to be a starter 100%. I don't care who's higher than him. Dan Feeney's the starter. And Scott Quisenberry is going to get maybe some play time if anybody gets hurt. Um, at center, we have Mike Pouncey. Obviously, he's 30, so he's going to start regressing soon. But either I'll draft a center or I will go try and find one in free agency. But he is 82 overall, which is fairly good. And underneath him, we have Cole Toner, who's currently a 54 overall. Not the best overall to be at, but who knows, maybe he'll be one of those players that just develop randomly. At right guard, we have a couple of guys. I'm going to have to switch around the roster because we do have a lack at left tackle for the second string. But we got Forrest Lamp and we got Michael Schofield. Those are two guys that are 100% going to be playing and they're going to stay on the team until they need to go. Spencer Durango's a guy that I might keep on the team. I'm not 100% sure. He is really young. Um, he is the second youngest out of our three right guards right now, so he might. he's probably going to stay for a bit. At tackle, we have, I think at tackle, we have our first very competition on the team. We have, At right tackle, we have Trey Pipkins and Sam Tevy. Sam Tevy was the starter last year, and then Trey Pipkins was obviously our third-round pick this year. But as of right now, I'm probably going to have Sam Tim. Uh, maybe I might have Trey Pipkins as a starter. I'm not 100% sure. We'll see how it plays out. Um, Trenton Scott's going to move to left tackle, and I'm hoping I can somewhat develop him in practices. Because in real life, he's really good. In Madden, his overall is bad. I did miss a guy, though. Um, we got Blake Camper. Don't really know much about him. He is a rookie, so maybe he'll make practice squad. Um, at left end, I think it's pretty obvious who we have. We have Joey Bosley. He's obviously going to be a starter. Then we have Isaac Rochelle. He's going to stay here for a while. I might move him to defensive tackle. Who knows? Um, at right end, we, uh, we have Melvin Ingram. I don't think I really need to explain who he is. 88 overall. He is 30, though. That's a problem. But we'll find something. We always do. Under him, we have Anthony Lanier, um, 65 overall, 26. Not bad. I think he was labeled as a defensive tackle last year for us. And then right under him, we have Patrick Avriai. I think that's how you say it. I'm pretty sure I heard somebody say it like that, so I'm going to assume it's correct. 63 overall, he's 22, so not bad for a 22-year-old. And then, of course, we have defensive tackle. We have a lot of guys, but I know who my two starters are 100% going to be. 
But at our number one defensive tackle, we have our first round draft pick rookie, Jerry Tillery. He's 100% going to be a starter. 75 speed for a defensive tackle is very nice in this game. I'm just hoping I can develop him to be super good. He has 87 strength, too, which is really good. Under him, we got old man Brandon Meebane, who's 34. I'm pretty sure he retires after this season. So I'll be looking to, like, either ship him away or maybe I'll just cut him because his contract is horrible. Um, Damian Square, another guy who's really old, not going to be the starter that I'm talking about. And here we go with the guy that I said is going to be the second, ti second tight end, second defensive tackle. We have Justin Jones, who's going into his second year, technically. In the NFL, I'm hoping I could get him to develop a lot because he's not a bad defensive tackle. He's our fourth fastest defensive tackle, but he's really he's not bad at all, so I hope I could develop him. And if not, I'll go with what the Chargers should have done and go back and try and get Darius Phylon, which is what we should have done. We should have kept him. Under him, we got T.Y. McGill. Don't know too much about him. Um, he has fairly good speed for your defensive tackle, especially at 299 pounds. And then, of course, we got one of our other draft picks. We got Cortez Broughton, which is surprising that he doesn't have a face scan, but undrafted rookies do. He's probably going to make the team. The starters are probably going to be Jerry Tillery, Justin Jones, and I'm trying to get Cortez Broughton in there. And maybe I'll bring over Darius Phylon again. I left outside linebacker. Overalls can be deceiving, but Juchenna Nwosu is not going to be the starting left outside linebacker. I'll tell you that right now. Uh, Jatavis Brown's going to be the starter. I'm going to get Uchenna Nwosu more into, like, pass rushing sets. So I'll set up all the auto formation stuff and all that. But Uchenna Nwosu is probably going to be one of our pass rushing linebackers. Jatavis Brown is probably going to make a move to middle linebacker. But, yeah, Jatavis Brown is 100% going to be a starter on the team. Um, we got Emik Egbule. I'm pretty sure he's our fourth or fifth round draft pick. He's going to stay on the team, and if not, he's going to be moved to the practice squad. Which, I mean, there's no problem being on the practice squad. Um, at middle linebacker, I kind of know who I want to keep at middle linebacker. So, of course, we have Denzel Perryman. I'm probably going to move Denzel Perryman to, like, maybe a different linebacker position, or maybe I'll just keep him at middle and have him and Jatavis Brown battle it out for the starter. But as I said, Jatavis Brown is probably the starter. I love Denzel Perryman, but his injury rating is bad. Under him, we have Drew Tranquil. He's going to stay on the team. He is a 69 overall, which I could actually develop him very, very, very well. So he he does have 87 speed at middle linebacker too, which would be great, especially for usering and all that. So he's definitely staying on the team. We got Nick Zunbar, who's 28. So I'm not sure what I'm going to do with him. He may not make the team. Not 100% sure. Kyle Wilson, as I've already debated this, he's getting put on the practice squad. And along with Trayvon Johnson, they're both getting put on the practice squad. I want to keep Trayvon Johnson more or less because I actually like him. Um, next we have Tom, not Thomas Davis. Next we have right outside linebacker. This one's another difficult one. We have Thomas Davis, who's 36, and we have Kaiser White, who's 23. Kaiser White's going to progress really well, where Thomas Davis is going to start to regress. But Kaiser White is 100% staying on the team for a while. He's not getting cut. He's not putting getting put on the practice squad. He is staying on the team 100%. At cornerback, we have a lot of cornerbacks to go over. At number one, of course, we got Casey Hayward, who's 29. He is going to start regressing soon, I think, but I hope I could get him to, like, 92 before that happens. Obviously, we got Desmond King, best slot cornerback in the NFL right now. I, 87 overall, that's really good. Did Madden really give him an 87 overall? Because these are the updated... Did he really get an 87 overall? I apologize, I apologize, you guys, but I need to see this. And once I find it, I'll put a picture of it up on the screen. Okay, maybe, I don't know. It says 86, but I haven't done anything, so. Oh, it's because right as soon as you get into the franchise, some overalls change. But 87 overall, I'll take it. Especially for 24, I'll take it. Next, we got Trevor Williams. He's going to be the number two corner. Desmond King's going to stay the slot. But Trevor Williams, 100% staying on the team. Same with Michael Davis. All They're all staying on the team. Because right as soon as Casey Hayward retires, it's going to be Trevor Williams, Desmond King, and Michael Davis as our cornerbacks, 100%. Under all them, we have Arian Springs. Um, he's probably going to make the practice squad. Um, Brandon Faison's going to make the starting roster, probably. And Jeff Richards, I'm not 100% on. Usually I do cut him, but we'll see. At free safety, we have another battle. Even though in real life, I know exactly who I want to start. And if you already guessed who I want to start and you said Nasir Adderley, <laughs> you're wrong. I want Rayshon Jenkins to be a starter in real life. And Nasir Adderley and Rashawn Jenkins are definitely going to battle it out in our Madden Franchise League. I'm hoping Rayshon Jenkins does really good, and I'm hoping that Nasir Adderley does really good. Because if I need to, if Rayshon wins the starting spot, I'll just move Nasir Adderley to corner and produce him there. Under them, we got Roderick Teamer Jr. He's a rookie. He's probably He might make the practice squad, but 
with these two, he's not making the starting job unless they both get hurt, which I'm praying doesn't happen. Next, we got Derwin James. Madden, Madden had changed a lot of the Chargers ratings because of the reactions to their players and all that. Where Keenan Allen was only an 89, now he is a 90, but he had 87 speed, now he has 88. Derwin James was an 86, now he's an 88. Um, I think they upped his tackling to like 79, which it was a 77. But yeah, he's 23, 88 overall. I'll take that any day of the week. Under him, we have Adrian Phillips, who is 27 and 77 overall. Now you're probably wondering, why don't you just move Adrian Phillips to free safety? He's already higher than both of them combined. Because no, he's 27. He's going to start regressing right as soon as he hits like 29. I'll pass. But he will get some playtime though. Don't count that out. Underneath them, we have Jalen Watkins who is 72 overall and 27 years old. That's really hard to say because it's like flipped of his overall and his age. Um, I don't know how much playtime he's going to get. I might trade him off. Of course, that kicker, we got the money badge. He's staying here forever. I will pay this man $30 million just straight up cash monies to keep him here. He is staying long period, period the end. At punter, we kind of have another battle, but I kind of already know who I'm going to start. So... We have Tyler Newsom, who's also who's a rookie, and same with Ty Long. In personal preference, Tyler Newsom's probably going to be the starter, but who knows? Maybe Ty Long will outplay him. I'll do like separate little videos of like kicking and all that, and like punting, and see who does better. Our team is pretty much set as of right now. Um, we got all of our starters and everything, so you know. I mean, as I said, a lot of stuff could change. A lot of guys may get moved. As I said, I do need to fix this because the way that it has it set up, Dan Feeney's not starting. As I told you guys, he is going to be a starter. Anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. And if you did, don't forget to leave a like, comment, and subscribe. I'm going to try and upload maybe twice every week, maybe three times, depending on what videos it is. What I'm probably going to do is probably do a Madden video, a walkthrough game, and then I'll figure out the third kind of genre that I'm going to upload in a week. But yeah, I'm going to try and upload three videos a week. So yeah, anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed the video, and I will see you all in the next video. Peace out, everyone.